Good morning, everyone, and welcome to P3 TV, where we press pause, press play, and prosper. I am your host, Jackie Schwab, and you might notice new lighting and a new position today. Um, that's because life has taken an interesting turn for us, so um, I just want to make sure I touch base with you guys quickly before I uh, get on to the rest of our day. But uh, today's topic is wonder precedes inspired action. And so you might say, well, okay, again, what does that mean, right? But sometimes if we're in a place of judgment, we don't always respond, right? Maybe we react more. Um, for example, if um, maybe we think someone is less attractive or overweight, a reaction would be like, oh gosh, you know, why don't they take care of themselves? And it's not really an inspiring response, right? Nor is it really a response. It's probably legitimately a reaction coming from this this place of judgment, right? This in, this inflammation, the condition of inflammation. So if we really want to start engaging in more healing type dialogue, or if we really want to start connecting with others in a, in a more positive way, maybe even a way that gives us an opportunity to influence their decision-making, then we really got to step away from like reacting and step, step into responding. And so that's where the idea of wonder um, helping proceed inspired action. And so if you thought first, hmm, I wonder why that person has a limp instead of, oh gosh, they always get the best parking spots. And instead of perhaps maybe that awful thought you just had, because you were wondering and you noticed that maybe it's more difficult for them to get around, instead of being upset about their parking spot, maybe you open the door for them so that it's a little bit easier. Or maybe as you're walking around, you're like, oh, you know, did you hurt yourself? Is you are okay? And, and you end up getting this wonderful story, you know, about what's happened to them. And so um, before I sign off, I have a, a quick example of how that played out in my younger days and my younger times. When I was younger, um, I, tact wasn't really something I did well. I'm probably still working on that now. But um, there's a gentleman that used to come into the uh, store that I worked at with my family. It was like a little bait shop, right? We showed like worms and stuff. And um, his skin was really, really red and he walked really slow and very belabored and um, was, you know, hurting. And... I was like 12, so, uh, you know, I pretty much just asked what I wanted to know. And as he walked up to the counter, I was, I said, you know, what happened to you? You, you know, you, your skin's so red, you look hurt. And my mom smacked me upside the back of the head for being ridiculous and, and rude, right? And, and then the gentleman looked back and he, like a tear ran down his face and he said, thank you so much for asking. You know, most people just stare. And it gives me a chance to tell you about this wonderful thing that happened. Um, I'm a firefighter and there was a young boy that was in a building that was burning. And I was able to shield him from um, a burning, like was a, those things that come off the roof, like a piece of wood that fell down. Um, he covered the boy and was able to get the boy out un unharmed. And um, he clearly didn't get out unharmed. But he said, you know, sometimes he felt like people just judged him and thought he was ugly and that he was some kind of monster. But he was a hero. And it wasn't, well, I wasn't coming from a place of being rude then, right? When we're younger, we aren't as um, filtered or maybe not as censored. I was really coming from this curious place of wondering, you know, what happened? And in, took instead of reacting, right, I, I wondered out loud and, and it gave me this wonderful opportunity to learn about this great man. So just things to consider as you're going through your day to day. Um, perhaps you can inspire some action in yourself to behave in a different way with someone you love Maybe someone you don't love. Maybe you open a door. Um, maybe you ask someone what happened. Uh, maybe you just don't get so upset if they park in a certain parking spot. But um, I wonder what you'll do with this message today. I'd love to know about it in the comments. 
We'll see you next week. All right, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for more episodes of P3 TV. And I believe next week we're going to be focusing on uh, small habits. So we'll see you then. Bye.